Hello viewers from wherever you're watching us from around the world. Uh, you're watching QTV and it is now time for your weekly state of affairs program here on QTV. My name is Aliu Sese and as usual, I'm here with my uh, co-host, uh, Mr. Sidi Sese. Sidi. <laughs> Thank you very much, Aliu. <laughs> good, to, good, to, good to be here. <laughs> anyway, good to, good to have you. That's uh, Sidi Sese, uh, my co-host. Well, uh, this week uh, we are looking at a very critical issue as far as the Gambia is concerned. We're looking at the issue of waste management. I mean, the Gambia, like in many other countries, is grappling with the growing environmental uh, uh, problem as far as uh, waste management is concerned. I mean, despite having a law on anti-littering, I mean, there's still a problem as far as the uh, issue of waste collection and disposal is concerned in the in the Gambia. And joining us this week to discuss these and other issues relating to waste management, uh, we are happy to have uh, Mr. Seku BMJ. Uh, he's an, uh, we can say, waste management expert. He had previously served as the uh, environment quality, uh, head of environment quality at the National Environment Agency between 1999 and 2008. He's also uh, one of those who actually, he initiated the, the first course on waste management at the University of the Gambia in 2002. And even the anti-littering uh, law which we have now, I mean, he was key in, in having that law being enacted by the National Assembly. Uh, Mr. Jai, thank you so much for coming on the State of Affairs program. Thank you very much. I, I'm happy to be here to be part of this very important discussion. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Yeah. Jai. And also in the studio, we <coughs> have uh, Mr. Uh, Dudu Jalo, who is the manager of services under the Department of Services at KMC, responsible for environment, uh, health matters, and uh, waste management. He is also the, the co uh, I mean, he was the pro uh, project officer of the just concluded uh, West 8 uh, project, and currently he is the uh, project officer one uh, of the Carnifying kind of Environment Transformation uh, Program. Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Jalo, thank you so much for coming on the State of Face program. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I'm happy to be part of this program. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I will start with uh, uh, Ms. Tenjai. I mean, when you talk about waste management, what is waste? Thank you very much, Mr. Sise. I think uh, nationally, that's the first problem. When you want to manage something, you first need to define it well. In the local language, you could hear them say Mbalit mm -hmm. or Fitari Nyamu. I think waste is beyond that. And before we seriously uh, think about what we want to manage, we first have to define it correctly. And in this day and age, it, it goes beyond the traditionally what we call Mbalit or Fitari Nyamu. And I would say, if you say it's refused, also you are cutting out a lot of things. If you say things that nobody, no one uh, needs, that's also not true. So the actual definition is wa of waste is anything that you require to dispose of. Anything that is required to be disposed or anything that is actually disposed with, without talking about whether or not somebody needs it. Because if you go to the dump site today, you find people uh, picking things and then they go and reuse it. So that definition about refuse or something that nobody no longer needs will not give us a, a good frame of definition to be able to manage waste properly. So anything that somebody actually throws away, regardless of whether it's useful or not, it needs to be managed. There are some things also in their inherent characteristic, they need to be disposed of. Whether you dispose it or not, it becomes part of the waste stream. So we ha when we are talking about waste management, we have to think about all of these. And then we can do uh, the proper uh, management strategies to actually uh, do something about it. Okay. And, and uh, currently, I mean, what is the state of waste management in the Gambia, from your own understanding? OK, for me, uh, personally, I think it's one of the most critical uh, development issues for this country and in my own view all of us whatever we are doing I think we are not doing enough for example when when somebody looks at Bakote 
and I hear people saying, the people around Bakhmati, they pity them because of the smell or because of the smoke. And I think that goes beyond Bakhmati. We have to look at it at the national level. What are the repercussions of not managing waste properly? For example, we have two official dom sites that we call dom sites. Being one of, I can say, the only nation that I know that doesn't have a, a landfill. And in 2002, when they did the GBA waste study, Bakote and Mile 2, at that time, filled all the minimum requirements for a waste disposal site. And 20 years later, we're still disposing waste at those places. Okay, all of them are bad, but let's start with mile two, for example. Mile two is in a wetland. And you know, wetlands are used by fish to spawn. That's where they lay their eggs. And then when they hatch, then the, the small fish will migrate and go into deeper waters. Okay, then we go back and look at the composition of waste. And the waste right now is a cocktail of different things, which includes uh, heavy metals like cadmium, like lead, and mercury. All these three metals have serious impacts on the health of, of the population. And if you have a potential of getting our fish contaminated, just imagine if we reach a point where they ask Gambians not to consume fish because there is high mercury levels or high lead levels in them, what do we do? I mean, most of us eat fish more than we eat meat because fish is what is more uh, cheaper for us. <coughs> So that potential, and I'll tell you something about mercury. Mercury, even at small quantities, if a woman that's in her reproductive age gets exposed to mercury, her future baby can have their IQ significantly affected just by mercury. And then we have a lot of mercury products that includes some are in vehicle spare parts, some are in cosmetics and all that. And mercury, when it enters water, for example, it changes into methyl mercury, which when it gets into the fish, it goes into the fish flesh. And these things also accumulate in the human being. So um, these are potentials why the uh, mile two uh, it shouldn't be somewhere we, we dispose waste. All right, it's quite interesting. We'll, yeah. we'll come back to it. Let me, okay. let me just bring in uh, Mr. Jalo here. I also I request the control room. We, we compile some images of, of, of waste disposal. Kindly display some of those images for us to you know, have a you know, more interactive uh, discussion as we discuss about waste management. <coughs> it's important. That's why we compile all those uh, footage it's with the control room. Uh, Mr. Jalo, you, you, you're far from uh, uh, Mr. Njai. I mean, what is the role of KMC? In, in, in terms of waste management. Thank you very much, Mr. Sisi. I think um, as a council, um, we inherited the waste management system from the First Republic. Um, I remember when I was a small boy in Banjul, we used to have a household name called the Butterfells. They come on house inspections using some some certain instruments to look at the water quality of our wastewaters, to visit our toilets, visit our home backyards and so on. Any day it is announced uh, that these um, health inspectors are coming to people's home. It seems as uh, you, you, uh, it seems as maybe the special forces are coming, uh, special um, uh, people are coming to home. Everybody get prepared and clean their houses. That has fade away. So um, this system of waste management, at the time, it was transferred fully to local council. It was fully transferred to local council when the Second Republic came. 
with no knowledge and any background of waste management. We are managing waste as the way we are into it, going by side by side. It's up to a period that we have some institutions like the National Environment Agency, continually also the public health and so on, who are coming, but not in full to ensure that support council to, to do more than what is expected of them. So those were some of these things that we started. So when we go to a point, then in those days, people don't throw waste as it is right now, generate it and take it away. People uh, normally dump waste in their backyard, especially when they build their mud house, where they have a big ditch. That's where they will start to put in their waste, try to reclaim back that portion of land in their homes. Then the population, we are not fully aware as of now, People know that they cannot keep waste, they cannot leave it waste, and there must be something that we must do. So as a council, which our primary mandate also is to ensure that we deliver services. And part of the key things that we deliver, the services we deliver is waste management. So we, in those days, we inherited uh, Bedford uh, trucks, which has a capacity of, let's say, five, uh, five to seven tons. If I may be corrected, Mr. Njai knows about it. So it as it gets going, serving beyond its lifespan, there is no proper replacement, there is no other things and so on. Until of recent, we get the new dispensation. They said, let's say we have to come up with something at least that will um, satisfy our people. Then there they came with the PPP model of waste collection system. Mm -hmm. You pay as we collect because end of the day, there is nothing free, free meal, at the, at the, uh, uh, on the table because it has to start from a process. You need to do certain things until it reaches the table. So this is what we started as a council because we can spend the whole day talking about precisely these were the things that we started doing, uh, doing house to house collections and charge at a minimal rate. And end of the day, part of what we are collecting would be driven by taking it back to our community to do development in other areas. And how effective has it been, talking about what you have just started? I mean, yes, um, we, it, we it still remain a concern. I mean, the issue of waste collection yes. in KMC. Yes. Well, I know city will come in shortly, but you can just. Yeah, respond. but uh, the issue here is that when you look at our road network system as a council, especially during the course of the rainy season, that's why when we started the, the, the project, we don't eliminate the donkey cart collectors. We don't in, e eliminate the private waste collectors because there are areas which we cannot reach. And all we are doing, trying to avoid these illegal dumps that are coming up within our wetland areas, as he rightly said, in our up outskirts and so on. Because prior, even before this thing come, they've been clearing more than 60 dumps, you know, annually. And that cost consults a lot because you need to hire machinery, you need to hire trucks to transport them to the back of the dump site. So, but when they came with this, we engage, we have um, stakeholders within, with them, we discuss with them, so then that you are part of us. The waste that we cannot, where we can reach, you people can go there, collect it, bring it, and then we create what you call a mobile dump. We didn't stop at creating mobile dump. When you know that you are you are in Old Juson and you cannot trek to back of the dump site, even if you trek, you'll only have one trip a day. And maybe you don't own that donkey cart, you rent it from somewhere, we know, based on our, our own um, observation and our own uh, internal research that we do. So all what we do is that we create what we call the mobile dome. The closest vehicles that within a particular ward that you are operating, you will be going there and pay $50 and dump it there and go back to the field. Because what they get end of the day is more than uh, it's it's hundred percent more than the fifty dollars that they use. It seems Mr. Njai wants to come in yeah. report city. Okay, Mr. Njai, yeah, you can I, come. I in just then. wanted to uh, put some things in perspective. In nineteen sixty five, we have three hundred and sixty five thousand people, the whole country, and now KMC alone is more than that. Yeah. Gambia now we are, I think, the fourth most densely populated country in Africa. So, if we want to manage waste at the way we are managing it 50 years ago, it's not working. And just to produce waste and promise that we are going to collect as much as you, um, you produce. <coughs> Recently in November 2021, we did a survey at Barcote, a whole day, recorded every single truck that came. And 
what we calculated, 70% of the waste going to Baco there is actually brought by donkey carts. That was an actual survey which was done. The whole day, 24, uh, 12 hours from morning till it closed, we are recording each donkey cart and estimating the volume by measuring the width and all that, and also counting the number of KMC and from the other private sectors. So that means that the councils, they don't have the capacity and the resources to be able to handle this. Thank you, yeah. thank you very much, yeah. uh, and thank you very much, Mr. Jarlo. You see, for me, I want you guys to help me here. Mm -hmm. Give me your perfect definition mm -hmm. of waste management. You're all talking, mm -hmm. and nobody have talked about how do you manage waste in definition. What is waste management in definition? If I start with Mr. Jarlo. Well, waste management definition could be termed as in the, the way you want to say it. But to me precisely, waste is all about somebody's waste could be turned into somebody's wealth. To me, that would be the best definition. Of it. it should not only stop at a collection transportation, but it should go far beyond that. Uh, reusing the waste, turn it into something very useful to our environment, to, for our economic gain. We should go from that end on, uh, uh, onwards, rather than only collect transport and disposal. Okay, so when you talk about management, you talk about once waste can be somebody's wealth, but how is that done? Yes, because we know that now waste, we are, we are driven into waste in the circular economy. Because you are seeing scavengers are scavenging waste, some of the scavenging material are being taken away. We did our assessment, we know some of the areas where they are sending their listing and some of it are being exported. Some of them are being recycled here, which you can see. I can tell you one, that these overhead tanks that you are seeing, some of them are made here, just behind our backyard. So, so, so you as an institution, KMC, yes. you have not had the idea yet when it comes to waste management. Because if you have an idea about waste management, you will be thinking about recycling right now as an institution. We, we have an idea. No, you do not have an idea course, because you have not done anything uh, in Of line course, we with done that. something. What have you done? Okay, thank you. Just the recently concluded waste aid project. Our intervention is diversing the biodegradable waste as a pilot. We piloted five markets, which we were trying to look at it. Among all the five markets, we do what we call the waste composition analysis. And we, when the analysis comes, we happen to take Abuko and Old Joswang to use them as the collection points from the markets, where we collect the organic waste. And out of collecting the organic waste, we train over uh, 70, 70 market vendors how to sort out waste to separate the, uh, the organic waste from the other other, other, other other waste they generate in the markets. And we do what we call carb surveys. We do also what we call weekly, uh, monthly training to ascertain whether the knowledge base is in them so that when they go home, they can practice it. And we got three tricycles. I'm talking about, you are talking about, let me, let me learn in this thing. We trained the two women gardeners. We visited all the peri all the, all the uh, urban gardens. We happen to see that uh, Bakau Women Garden and Bakau Women Garden are mostly ideal to build compost plant. Those women, we train 15 from Bakau, we train 15 from Bakote. As I'm speaking, you can make a visit there. They already make their first compost, which they are using. They already make from first uh, bio, bio briquettes, which they are, they are using. Even yesterday, I used part of it to brew a Are you, are you I, considering so, so, you know, that, are you that to be, no, let, let me say this, are you considering this to be, uh, to be recycling? from the market, or are you considering this to be a form of a project creating organic manure for, for, for our women? No, this is a form of recycling. Because well, that, that, because, that because waste that comes idea. from the market, no, let me, yes, let me yes, help yes. you. The waste that comes from the market yes. is less than 10% of the general waste. If you go to Tipa, if you go to Bakote, I've been to Bakote, <laughs> you, you can hardly find a market waste that you are talking about. Most of the waste that are coming to Bakote are from our homes. Yeah. So you as an institution, let me help you, let me help you. Mm -hmm. You as an institution, I want you to convince me mm -hmm. the idea and the ideology you have around managing waste. Because you seem to be, you know, a blind leading a blind in this project. No. Convince I, I me. I differ with that. Convince because me. Because for the first time, 
as a local council, we are coming up with this thing, trying to see how to go about it. Because we are working with partners. You see, for me, I don't understand. You are trying to find out how to go about No, 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 no. Imagine, I told you that from the analog, I just give you preference of how we started without the know-how. Now this level, we piloted one year. We have a new project. We are, we are targeting markets and communities. We did what we call community bantabas until we have we uh, we, we visited almost uh, nine wards, which we spoke with women 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 in their homes in their respects, so which they want to engage into compost making and bio bio briquette making. Mm. You see? so we did. You don't you don't just build things from from one go and it goes like that. Because know that the, 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 the problems that we are facing based on the ex population explosion, based on what we generate on a daily basis, you don't just come and I have say, one final and, question and from, for you. Uh, Mr. And say you do I mean, Mr. Yellow, one final question. Like it is only no, no, council one, do, trying Mr. to come with this. Yes. This will help us. Yes. yes. If you answer this question, give me quantity of waste that are produced in our homes. Give me the quantity of waste that are produced in our homes. That will help me to it, understand the pilot project you are having. Yeah, the quantity of waste we are producing. Yes. The waste is, you know, acid, 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 acid now on the projections, which is 0 0.68 kilos per person. No, I mean, no, I'm in coming, the household. I'm, my brother, you must listen. The technical things we are using, you need to listen that how, how, how we come about around it. Because these are something that are coming from Jibos, from, 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 from this thing and so. So if we have a population of 500,000 people, as I say, per projection, and every indiv individual is generating 0 0.68 kilograms of waste, meaning one kilo per person, how much tons of waste, uh, a kilo of waste, do we generate as a, as, as, as a municipality? Let me not break. We don't. We don't okay. fully okay. reach there, but yes. we are moving Mr. at Jalil, a slow pace. Steadily, we will be there. We have never talked of with this idea of coming up with all this. You don't now, understand city, what city, I'm saying. No, no. What I'm saying is, city, when I'm saying city, the city, type city. of waste you are producing at home, let me not bring in Mr. Jalil. Out of the waste we are generating, we are producing. Mr. Jalil, is the organic waste. Mr. Jalil, allow me to come in here now, please. Allow me to come in here. Allow me to come in here, please. Okay. Uh, let, let, let me bring in Sanjay okay. here. What, what's your understanding from what Mr. Yel trying to explain? Let me, just in let me give you some perspectives. Yes. Um, the waste uh, uh, surveys that are done, if you look at our waste, 40% of the waste is actually sand. Yeah. And about 30% about is actually organics. Thank you. The problem is whatever we are doing, and that includes myself. As Gambians, I think we are not doing enough when it comes to uh, waste management because we are not prioritizing it. In my view, when I started, I was trying to build up why we need to take waste management seriously. For example, Bakote, when you, when you do open burning, the problem of the smoke and the and the smell is just five percent of the problem. Mm -hmm. The problem is all the toxins and the chemicals that are inherent in that waste gets distributed, and it can go up to fifty kilometers away. So it affects everyone, every one of us. And you know there are two types of pollution. You have chemical pollution and pathogenic pollution. And we tend to worry more about pathogenic pollution when you have the, the pathogens like that causes diarrhea and all that. But when that contaminates your food, good cooking can get rid of it. Or water. Yeah, yeah, water. When, when like right now in Bakote. Yeah, yeah when in, in the Bakote, the, all the wells around it are not even fit for washing. We did that when the Bakote, the too. When the yeah. Bakote yeah. study was being done, I was technically the one responsible at, 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 at NEA. So we have, we have passed the chapter. For 20 years, we knew that Bakote and Mile 2, they don't meet the minimum environmental requirements for a, for a waste dump site. To me, we shouldn't be at this stage right now. So when you have things like POPs, persistent organic pollutants, you have mercury, you have cadmium, all that can cause cancer, they can cause kidney problems, they can have impacts on the IQ of our children. For example, I'm 60 years old. If I get exposed to those, if I die 20 years later, it's, ah, okay, he's already 18. Yeah. 
But think about a one-year-old who gets constantly being affected by these pollutants and we have schools around it. Okay, 20 years, 30 years time, when those exposures start hitting, what cost is that to our country? So that's where I'm thinking. You know, that's why I, I said the smoke and the smell is just 5% of the problem. If you have our fish, when you go to America in the Great Lakes region, they condemn the fish to be consumed because of high mercury levels. When you read about the Menemata story in Japan, when they had um, one of the coastal villages, they were doing gold mining. So they used mercury to kind of extract the gold and then because they have different boiling points. So they had mercury poisoning of the fish. Almost half of the population of that village died. And now they call mercury poisoning many matter disease. So these are the issues that I think about when I saw. Well, you still did not answer my question. But <laughs> yeah, I leave that yeah wait. Okay, the, <laughs> the, yes, I have it here. Like this waste management, there is no dissolution. But you have something called waste management hierarchy. And then you talk about target zero. That's the ideal. We all want zero waste. As long as we don't have zero waste, there is still room for us to perform. Thank you. And each, every one of us has a role as Gambia. That's where you start. But if you want the people to paint the picture that we can recycle or we can uh, dispose any waste you bring in, then you will never be able to solve the problem. So it starts with avoiding waste. If you cannot avoid it, reduce the amount of waste that you produce. Mm -hmm. If you already produce it, you reuse it to something else. And this are, is hierarchical. You start with the avoid first, then you go to reduce, reuse, and then recycle. And after recycling, then you have composting. And then you have incineration. I think you see that yes. came. So. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then, so, so we those, need to, those, we need we, we to, have it already. we need to sell this concept. You know, I remember one time I was. Say, yeah, yes, I'll come yeah, back to you. Okay. I mean, we, 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 we have to go for a short break. Well, viewers, you reminded you're watching State of Affairs here on QTV. My name is Alu Sisi with my co-host here, Sidi Sisi. And our guest this week, uh, Seku, uh, uh, Seku BMJ, uh, was management expert and also Dudu Jalo, who is the manager services under the Department of Services KMC, responsible for environmental health matters uh, and waste management. We'll go for a short break and when we return, the discussion continues. Espace Motors is the largest and most modern auto service in the Gambia. Espace Motors is the only authorized dealer in Chevy. Mercedes Benz trucks. Mercedes-Benz buses, Kia, Ford, Futon Mini and Midi buses, Futon trucks. At Espas Motors, we have qualified professionals who use modern technology to diagnose and repair all brands of motor vehicles. Espas Motors services include auto sales, auto repairs, vehicle painting, availability of high quality spare parts, towing services. We are reachable at any time. Call Espas Motors on 352222-353-4444 or locate us on the Bertel Harding Highway. Espas Motors. Welcome back viewers from the short break. You're watching QTV, the Gambia's first private TV station and we're broadcasting from our studios here on Kairaba Avenue. My name is Aliu Sise. Here with me is my co-host, Mr. Sidi Sise and our guest this week, uh, Seku BMJ and uh, Dudu Jalo and we are looking at uh, West um, m management. Yes, you were talking about. I mean, how to reduce. I mean, West. How do we do this? Yes, I. I think all of us have a stake in it. Every Gambian has a stake in it. And I was trying to tell you a story where I worked with NEA. I. I. I had a lecture with some women at KMC, and then one of the women told me they have an old well in their compound. And because KMC is not collecting the waste, they, they dumped waste into that well until it's full. When she told me that, I said, if you have only put 
organic matter in that well. That's good. But if you have also disposed batteries and other hazardous things, you just help those things to get faster to the water table. You know what he told, what she told me? Why didn't you tell me earlier? So you see, there is a gap. I mean, what we made Gambians to believe and the reality is different. So we have a lot of work to do to educate people, to, to let them know the impact of waste management on them and their lives and the role that they need to play. In 2002, when we, when we did a survey to, for people to say whether they're willing to pay, everybody was willing to pay. But the problem is the councils should concentrate on the dump side. The dump side, there's no management at, at the back of the dump side. When we had the UNDP project, we engineered that place and it was fenced. And the plan was there was cover material. They should have equipment there so that when they dispose waste daily, they compact it and cover it. So there will be no stench, it will not burn. Open burning is outlawed in all over the Western world. Mm -hmm. Because if you have a, a waste in this corner here, it's only people that actually come to be in touch with it, will, it will affect. But the moment you set fire to it, even people that are 50 kilometers away are affected by the inherent properties of that waste because it's inefficient burning. It just releases the hazardous properties of that waste and so, distributes it. So, so, Mr. Sanjay, you yeah. think uh, after 50 odd years of independence, Yes. and I had some councillors saying they innovate things, they have ideas, mm -hmm. they make things happen. Mm -hmm. Is it not the same that we have not got a single council that have pioneered a successful recycling in this country? Because what I see here is just carrying waste and dumping it. That's what happened. All of them does that. Yeah. No single council can come in front of me and tell me we are managing waste. They are not managing waste. They are collecting waste and dumping waste. Yes. And they need to accept that. That's the and fact. no council can defend that. They are actually out there collecting waste and dumping waste. And as, as long as we continue to do that, our life expectancy in this country will be as minimal as possible. Yeah, I think I agree that the, we could have done more. Even the time I got involved from 2002 to now is 20 years already. And 20 years ago, there was a comprehensive study done and we all know Bakote uh, should not be used as a waste disposal site and mile two. Then we, we should have have a landfill. You always need a landfill in any country. No matter what management you do, what recycling you do, there will be some waste that you take to a landfill. But a landfill is not like a dump site. A landfill, you need to have equipment there, you need to organize the waste, you need to cover it up daily, so that the smell, the stench, the burning is not happening. And this is what we couldn't do for so many years now. Let me now bring in Mr. Jalo here. What, what is the council doing about this, these issues that Mr. Jalo has raised, which are lacking at, uh, at the back of the dump site? I mean, like you have heard from my co-host, I mean, all you do is just collecting and dumping. Recycling is not happening. And because of that, I mean, it's, it's difficult to manage waste. Yeah, you know, um, waste in general is everybody's business. This is the narrow way that people are seeing it with council, because it is council, not itself, that's because we also have authorities beyond at our level. And by because the way, this is not just limited to KMC. Yeah, I'm, coming, no, I'm, coming, I'm, not call, I'm not calling. I'm not calling. I'm not calling. Because for us, we look what we are able to do within our boundaries, okay. and we are not. I'm not saying that we are doing, let's say, more than what people are thinking of. But uh, when you are talking about waste, when you are dealing with waste, you should not start with one side of it, and you say that you've done everything. It has to go at the same level as he is, uh, as he, as Mr. Jai says, because when you when you look at it in the in the in the, in the first main when uh, the when the backwater dump site was previously rehabilitated, in the project concept, there are supposed to be heavy machinery to ensure that on a daily basis these things are covered materials and so. The project came, 
only when they put the design and leave things like that. No other things, no even capacity building for Who planting. was responsible of the project? That, yeah, the project Ask. was responsible by government through um, through uh, 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 through GAM works. We, we are just there as a council, as, as beneficiary. We should have gone the level of transfer of uh, knowledge and transfer of responsibility. We would have not reached this place. Did you make any push to make sure all these things are available, like you said? Did you, you had the, the project document too? The project document is there. So why Clear did you follow it, it up? Clear it all. Did you why follow did you up? Did you make any follow up? You know, you know, I'm telling you one thing, you know, that's why I'm saying of recent that you see the level of council moving in steps. When was yeah, this? Because this was in early 2000s. That's why he's talking about, right now I'm telling you we have more organic waste than sand. If we can go back on the drawing board and do, do it, I can tell you that. We generate, we collect more organic waste than sand. Because Who collect that? As a council. You know, he was saying that now in the, so in you the, waste, your in the, waste, in the waste classification. No, no, let's I'm get coming, right. I'm yeah. trying to come Cecilia, up with that. I'll, I'll, in the I'll, waste I'll, classification. <laughs> okay. Then we used to have more sand, which was the 50%. Of, or 40 something percent and you have the organic now the organic is more than because many compounds previously they don't go into paving or whatsoever all those things are gone to reduction now you have more of organic waste than than than, than the sand that, so, that we collect so, so let's so get this see, right mr Jallo. yes are you telling me at back the dump side you mm -hmm. have more organic waste there i'm saying that in terms of the waste hierarchy that we are we are generated as, as, who, is as, generate, as who is generating people, this? all of us but why is it that we don't have more organic waste in back then if you are Do generating you visit the dump side? I, even today i went there my brother what are you seeing do you know how no, many tons of you. Okay. No, no, no you, you've been there so, you, you, so if I'm you are if you are generating this amount of organic waste and mm -hmm. you are dumping it you have failed no, as a country. No, you have failed. How do Why we, do you have to dump organic waste with all that waste? Brother, you, you see, um, I, I want you to understand one thing. You see, um, Rome was not built in one day. We haven't ever even get the idea to know how previously to come up to. But right now, our direction is focusing on what you people want to see, want us to do. That's where we are focusing on our direction. Currently, he's talking about the landfill. He's one of the consultants consulted to look into the possibility of those landfill. You know, how do we get those landfill and use this our dump site as a transfer station? Currently, we are working with the BM, BMZ project because when you are when you want to close a dump site, you don't just unclose the doors like that. You need to do certain activities which you know that that will help you. You, are, you are going around the cycle, Mr. Jai. Let, let, no, no, listen, cycle. listen. You know, my no, like, like, uh, we are all a witness to what is happening at Backwater Dome side. Yeah. And honestly, honestly speaking, hand on heart, what you are bringing there is not organic waste. Honestly, we honestly. are bringing composition of waste. We are not saying that we are bringing organic waste. But that's what you just said. It's not segregated. But when so you, how can you then say it's organic waste? How do you know? Huh. How, do you, how, how do you start it out to know, okay, this is organic or When Mr. Jai said that, we have we have more sand in the waste. You should know that something was done. You go and look at the waste waste stream. We actually you pilot uh, you do you do a survey. We, when you do a survey, so you don't have the majority at the backwater dump side is not organic waste. Let's be clear. My backwater dump side. Let me tell you, waste in the first place. Let me tell you in, in the normal setting, waste in the first place. You in your home, first of all, what you need to have, you need to have a storage facility as an individual. Second, you need to have a waste, a, a waste bin, standard waste bin. I don't have I'm a waste, coming, I don't I'm have coming, a waste I'm bin. Coming, let me no, help I'm you. Coming, let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me, let me, let me, let me say something no, with you. Let, let, let me, let me, let me finish this. Okay. I'm just giving you in a normal setting. That's why I'm telling yeah, you. That so is now, not normal. You know, it, what you are saying, Mr. Mr. Jalo, listen, I, 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 I have to make I, you understand I, I, it. I, I, no, I, I, let me, Ali, Mr. Jai needs to understand it. No, Mr. Jai, Ali, let me help Mr. Jai, Mr. Jai, Mr. Jai, in a normal setting, Mr. Jalo, Mr. Jalo, in a normal setting of 1940, you have a waste bin. In this 21st century, you don't, no, let me ask you. In this 21st century, you don't okay. have a waste bin. Okay. You have a re recycled boxes. That's what I have in my home. I produce in, in your... very minimal waste. Because everything okay. that I produce, okay. I make it into good use. So that's what I want your council to do, other councils to do. What you produce, what we produce, is used to our benefit. Mr. Njai. The sip from just... Yeah, dumping. dumping. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, yeah. I think, I think, I think Mr. Njai has seen yeah. what, what we are talking about. And, and yes. we are coming. Um, yes, allow Mr. Njai to come. We are not saying that KMC is not making efforts. But what we are saying, whatever we are doing as a nation, is not good enough. 
and that we have to agree. Yeah. If you look at the magnitude and this, what is at stake for poor waste management in the country, when I when I see it, because I know a lot of about the technical issues behind it, like some people when they see the smoke and the smell when they pass Bakote, they just think they pity the people around Bakote. But I see beyond that because I know the problem starts when that smoke and stench goes away. Because all those toxins that are in the air will settle back down into our waters mm -hmm. and it goes to fish, it will settle on the grass, the goats and the cows will eat it. So you will have that when you put fire to waste, you increase the avenues through which that waste gets back to you uh, as a human being. And because 60% of our population lives in the GBA, so that's what makes waste management more critical for this country than many other countries. Like Senegal, their population density is below 100 per square kilometer. Gambia is 250 people per square kilometer. So a waste problem in Dakar will not maybe affect or likely to affect in When you last visited that car, Mr. Huh? When you last visited Dakar? I think last year. Last year? Yeah. If you are a frequent visitor of Dakar, you yes. have seen they have moved yes. away from just collecting waste and dumping it. Yeah. I guess you know that. Yes, I know. A lot yeah. of so countries... So they, 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 they have, you know... They have a landfill. They have a landfill and they are doing very well. Yeah. At the time in those days, when we were kids, that, you know, Dakar was very filthy. I'm yeah. sorry, I'm sorry to say this. Yes. But now, you know, Dakar is part of the cleanest cities in the sub-region. Yeah, I, I think what I'm trying to, point I'm trying to make here is, as Gambians, sometimes we need to ask, accept if we, if we are not doing enough. And that will give us the motivation to do better. But if we think what we are doing, we are fine, it, it, it delays our, our, so, our, you know, our motivation to try to do more. So when you talk about Gambians, let's look at at a national level. Let's yes. just, you know, make this to KMC, Brickham Area Council, yes. all this. At a national level, yes. you talk about Dakar, for example, the yes. type of vehicles that are imported in Dakar. Yeah. There's, there's an age, age limit yes. on vehicles that goes in there. Yes. But in the Gambia, there's no age limit. I have even seen Senegalese who come here, import their vehicles in this country, and then take them to Senegal because they know they cannot bring those vehicles to Senegal. A vehicle that I live over 25 years, you bring it, the life expectancy is probably two years or two and a half years, and it will, it will be broken down in the street. You go around in this city, for example, in KMC, for example, mm -hmm. you see tons of broken vehicles lying around. They yeah. become hazard to us, to our health. They become hazard to everything that we do. And, 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 and secondly as well, as a nation, as a government, as a country, when you look at our environmental laws, in fine prints, great, but the enforcement is not there. Nobody seems to care. You take the Jabang, you know, highway. I know, ja, you know my friend is going to talk about Jabang. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the Salaji Forest. Mm. My God. It's disaster. The amount of waste all over the place. You go to Brusubi, behind Afrimet. Yeah. Af 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 it's terrible. Go to Yundum. You go to Yundum. You go, go to, to Brufu. You know, market, Brufu, I mean. they are throwing down waste just by the gate of the, uh, the graveyard. Yeah. And, and when people are taking their, 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 their loved ones to the I mean, they are you not know, falling down. That, so so the, as, as, a, as a country, you know, we must do better than what we are doing. This is not about KMC. Yes. This is about, at a national level, the yes. Minister yes. of Environment yes. needs to do something. The <laughs> NEA needs to do something. And it must be done now. Okay. Or else, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you are yeah, yeah. yeah. you, you, you I, I, I think now you, 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 I you are coming. Let me tell you. Uh, uh, everybody. Exactly. That's what we are doing here now. Let me tell you. As a council, because for me, I've been working council. I'm not defending council. I know where I started. I know where we started with waste management up to where we are. Technically, if I am explaining that to you, it's not that I'm okay, but as a West nation, collection. I'm coming as a nation, not as a nation, call it West as collection. a nation mm. in the Gambia, it should not only stop at the level of councils. Because it is our mandate to collect, transport, and dispose it. But it is far beyond that. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, even, even in terms of this anti-littering you are talking about, 
We are the first ever local council that comes with a bylaw that we charge people on the spot. Do you know how many, how much we generate in that? More than hundreds of thousands. Sometimes in a week, we'll go up to beyond 50 or 70,000 for just dealing with people who are allowing noxious water coming out from their home. People who are dumping illegally in this thing. Now we employ an, an enforcement team called the anti-littering uh, 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 environmental health inspectors. Where is that we, money? Where does it go? It goes to council coffers. They charge you on the spot. You pay, they give you receipts. You, you don't even move. They give you a receipt. You pay. You don't pay to the people. You go and pay to the, to the cashier. They give you receipts. That's why we're saying our system is slow, but we are moving. But if you look at it as a nation, we haven't gone anywhere. But in the event somebody is not willing you to see, pay, do you prosecute as well? Because if KMC is trying to push, I'm, 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 I'm coming, Abby. If KMC is trying to push, Banjul is, Banjul is like this. Birkham is like somewhere inside, meaning that we are doing not, we haven't done anything yet. I don't deny that. But the little we are doing, we are so not I, doing I, I, that I'm, little. I'm, I'm very happy, we Mr. 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 Jalo. You, you, change, you change the, the language saying waste collection, not management. So I think you guys at KMC and all these councils... If you are collecting, is it not managed? No, no, it's not managed. <laughs> no, you see, I think... I think uh, Mr. Sanjay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mr. Sanjay, Mr. Sanjay, Mr. Sanjay, it's part of the management. Mr. Sanjay, Mr. Sanjay, let's be frank. Let's be frank. From independence to date, we should not borrow words from places where they are doing it properly. We borrow this word waste management. We are not managing waste. Let's be frank. Who is managing waste in this country? Who generate waste? No, 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 no. no. Listen, no. Yes, who we are not, waste? you know, what we are doing who here. Who waste? No, Mr. Yalo, Mr. Yalo. I collected. I think this is part of no. waste, ma waste no, management. No, it's not. You have different, different collect different some place. Collect okay, some place. Let, let me bring it. No, it's not managing. You collect and drop it. Mr. Yalo, you collect and drop it. From understanding, Mr. Yalo, Mr. Yalo, Mr. Yalo, Mr. I mean, Mr. Yalo, from understanding, do we have any waste management policy in the Gambia? Yes, we have. Um, we we have, uh, at the NEA used to have the waste management strategy. And then in 1999, we, di we did a waste legislative study. And what that study came up is that we don't have any legislation in the country that adequately addresses so you the, don't cur have the current issues of waste management or the emerging issues. You don't have. And, and then what we did on that was draft a waste management bill. So the waste management bill was first drafted in 2001. And 2003, it was validated. We had a national workshop. And since 2003, it still cannot be enacted. Mr. Njai, because Mr. Njai, I want to withdraw your say, 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 statement say, say. saying you have it. You don't have it. You have a draft. Something yeah, that we is have in a draft. Bill. We have a bill. It's, no, it's, it's validated now. Last year, no, it was it's validated. A, it's still a draft. Yeah, it's, it's still a draft. Let's it, just agree on that. Don't use the technicalities. I know you are, yeah, you are part that, of them. You are a consultant with them. That's, that's, a, bill. Part of a, it that's a bill. A bill means it's not yet an act. It's not, it's not there. Yeah, it's not enacted. It's because not. Because when it is enacted, it becomes an act. Mm. But, but the, a bill is already when you prepare everything. And what, what the 2002 study says is that the councils cannot be referee and player. They are collecting and they are also managing the dump site. So the, this thing wanted to privatize, for example, the collection and the councils can monitor that and people pay and they can take care of the dump sites so that when people come and dump waste, they will pay for it and they will also provide So this is an idea that you, a concept that is already drawn, yeah. invalidated, yeah. you call it a bill, it's not a bill, mm -hmm. it's not enacted and it sits somewhere in somebody's cupboard after 10 years, and you are telling us we have it. We don't have it. Let's be frank. And it there, is is nothing, there is nothing on the ground that yeah. is there for you and I to use. It's not there. Yeah, right now. I have a wife in Guinea Bissau, and I'm sitting here. The wife is not here. Do I have a wife? Right now, you are right. There is no, the, the, there is no adequate legislation. There is Good. no legislation That's what I want to know. that adequately covers the current Very good. issues. That's what and I want imagine, to know. Imagine yeah. issues of waste management in country. Yeah, and and that ha it has been like that since 2000 so it that also could have been done the waste management act should have been in place it's not there. by now yes, but I, it's not in place I said, I want to be very 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 Mr. Very I mean, Mr. Yeah, like Siri said i mean you don't manage you only collect and dump i mean what are some of the key challenges you face while collecting uh, waste before i come to that and i, I just it, want to recognize we're, we're, we're i just want to recognize time, so, as a council yeah. we developed the force uh, waste management plan of council 
2021 okay. and it's already and we are working towards with the new project to come up with something with these emergent issues with what my mr cc is talking about we will make all those inputs to ensure that we graduate from, let's say, collection, transposition, and disposal. So you're going to you go, his no, ideas. You know, you know, it was so too, you know, it was, no, it was too <laughs> early. It was too early. It was too early uh -huh. to allow that to come in exactly. because we are moving yeah. to challenges. That's where I, I, I just, that's where I'm waiting on yeah. because I cannot empty the card. Yeah. I cannot empty the box okay. at, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the very beginning. Yeah. You know, for us. We want criticism. That's why we open to all kind of media system that people will come and call and say, you are not doing this, you are do that, do that, report this. That's we take it from there. But to be honest, we are working with all partners internationally or within this now country to, my question, to ensure what, what, that uh, what, what are the we have something that we call uh, and waste recycling and so on. And, and now to my question. That. We and it, and, and we are say. open to. We are yes. open to if you so want you to come over with like primitively doing no, no, waste collection. No, rule out the primitive. And, 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 and Mr. Yalo, and Mr. Yalo now, now, to, <laughs> now, now to the actual question. I mean, yes. we, we often see your trucks go around the council collecting waste here and there. I mean, what are some of the challenges you, you face you, during your risk collection? When, when, when people are talking about, we often see in your trucks and so, you know, you know, a, a, um, uh, people, uh, people complain based on certain issues, but we have waste management. When you are managing waste, it has a lot of challenges. We, the challenges we have are, you know, most you cannot even... Uh, no, here uh, we're uh, talking about waste collection. Yeah, yeah I'm talking about it. Yes. Because, you know, here... Don't steal a word. Yeah, 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 no, no, just, no, just, no, just, just <laughs> answer the question. We're running out of time. Yeah, what I'm are telling the you, challenges the you challenges face? we are facing still, we have bad road network for certain areas, especially during the course of the rainy season. And and, and that, that's uh, in, in the same vein, people, uh, we generate, waste generation multiplies because people cannot stay with their waste for a single day. Because the comp the chemist of the waste that they put in, you know, where, when you don't have a proper storage, it starts smelling. You are seeing maggots and so. Obviously, they'll be keep on complaining, and vehicle cannot reach certain area because it may cause damages and so. And including all the issues because every day things are uh, generation is increasing, especially during the course of the rainy season. That's that's one challenge. Two or the challenge sometimes when vehicle has serious. Um, um, this thing, we, we have we, people known to go on their routine maintenance and so on. And when they are going their, their routine maintenance, you know, some 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 sort of other area, we, we create now what we call afternoon shift team so that at least to cover up, you see. But yes, still, we need more of it to thank ensure you. that thank we thank satisfy quickly, the community. Finally, from me, um, mm -hmm. um, uh, Mr. Njai, uh, Mr. Jallo, mm -hmm. you send your, your team on your those waste trucks on suicide mission. You send them on suicide mission, right? No. Why you say you don't send them on suicide mission? Yes. No. I know where do you want to come up. No, every No, you send them on suicide. You send them on suicide missions. We don't send them on suicide missions. Explain why not. Every 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 year, eh, up till now, if you go there, or every month, even if you have your glove get problems, we replace it. We give them jackets, we give them PPEs. Every time I can attest to it. Every time you go to the store, right now you will find that their PPEs are there. This is this is a kind of we need to uh, reach to the level of uh, doing more of sensitizing them, helping them. So no, for these are people who work for you. You see them every yeah, day yeah, going we, out. We, we are yeah. not wearing it, and you allow them to go we in there. We take action. No, we take actions. The, even some the, of them even are this afternoon, home. even this afternoon, I saw them without nothing. When you when you uh -huh. and when you and when you send when you when you go around when you go around. When you go around and, and say them, where are your gloves? They start taking it out. No, no, it's not only the gloves. They need more than the gloves. Yeah, we're giving they them. Need, thank you. They we're need more than them. the gloves. Thank we're you. giving them masks. We're giving them gloves. But they are not wearing and you see them. You are driving by, you'll see a truck, you know, with your guys. I will not deny side. that. I will not deny that. Why you allow it happen? Yeah, because we take actions also. We punish them for not doing it. We are working with the public health officers. In, in, interesting. Which, who are host, uh, we, like like host Cedis said, it, it goes beyond just well, you know, providing it, it those PPEs. But, but I mean, we are it, working it along also... the line. We'll ensure that everything is done accordingly. So you are promising me, come tomorrow, I go out, I will see your guys in proper years. <laughs> yes, yes I promise you that. Yeah. Cedis said, yeah. promise you that. No, Anytime you promise, see, I mean... <laughs> consult me and you see what will happen the next minute. Mr. Jalo. There you know that Mr. Mr. Jalo and team. They, Mr. Jalo, in Cedis, you know what to promise him. So before he comes down, Kachadula and bring something different. Anyway, let me not bring Mr. Jalo. Can, yes. I see your, yes. can I see your PPE? Yes. 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 Your final recommendation to council as far as waste management is concerned. We finally run out. Okay, <laughs> my final recommendation, like I said, uh, waste management, there is not the solution. It's a series of uh, 
techniques you have to put in the toolbox. But as long as we don't have zero waste, we have more to do. Uh, yeah. I, I can hear him saying, Council is doing a lot. But my opinion is we are not doing enough as a nation. And we, t we need to work harder. And the way we work harder starts from educating people to say that the impacts of waste management on this country is huge. And in my opinion, there is no development issue in this country that is more important than waste management. Thank you very because much. Because of uh, its repercussions. Mr. Njai, well, gentlemen, thank you so much for coming on the State yes. of Affairs program. Uh, Mr. Durujala from KMC <laughs> and uh, Mr. Seku B. M. Jai, uh, an expert in, in waste management. He has previously served as head of environment quality at the NEA between 1999 and 2008. And to my co-host, it's, it's always a pleasure to share this platform with thank you. you. <laughs> Well, when we was with that, we bring an end to this uh, 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 week's uh, State of Affairs program. You can always watch this broadcast uh, at our YouTube channel at QTV Gambia. On behalf of the production team and everyone here at QTV, we thank you so much for watching. Do join us next week. Until then, bye bye.